Hello everybody, today I have this 2009 Freightliner Cascadia and this Freightliner Cascadia is having an issue. Um, as you can see right now, this engine has 1,248,000 miles, which is a lot, it's more than 1 million as you can see. And this one has the original gearbox. What is going on right now is then uh, when you uh, press the clutch, right? You press the clutch all the way in and you expect to put the gear on, like for example, the uh, number... So this is a nice speed uh, before I continue. It's a nice speed. So it is the uh, non 13 type because the nice speed you can transfer, you can convert it to 13 speed. In this case, it's a nice speed with a override, then gives you the last shift for the night speed. So uh, it's going to be just night, but you can uh, make it 13 as well. But anyway, it doesn't have anything to do with the problem. Uh, so in this case, freeze is going to be in this direction. So if I put the freeze, the gear goes on. And uh, if I release the clutch liter by liter, the car, the uh, truck start having some uh, resistance because of the clutch. So, um, yeah, that's the resistance because it's trying to move the vehicle. But in this case, if I go all the way to the number four, which is this one over here, the last gear, it's going to be this one right here. And the gear is on already. And what I do is like release the clutch completely. And once I release the clutch completely, nothing happens. The gear is still on, as you can see, and it doesn't do anything at all. With this, uh, with this, this means then the clutch, the transmission, uh, the clutch is working fine, but the transmission is the one that has the problem because the other gears are working fine, but this gear specifically is not working well, which means then something is broken. The uh, the synchronizer is like broken inside of the gear then holds the synchronizer is bad too or something or or the shaft is broken somewhere I'm not sure what's going on but uh, this is the problem going on right now and uh, and yeah so this transmission is bad and it needs to be replaced uh, still in gear and see it doesn't do anything if I hit the gas it doesn't do absolutely anything. Still the gear on. Too bad. Um, the transmission needs to be replaced in order to fix this problem. Uh, and if you want to know how to replace the transmission, you can check my video on uh, Friday Cascadia transmission replacement, which is similar for all the years. Why it's going to vary is going to be the difficulty and the stuff that you gotta remove underneath the vehicle depending on the year, the application, and many other uh, details about the truck. So if you wanna see that video, it's going to be in the corner of this video right now. And there you're gonna have the uh, direct link for that video. Um, so this is all I'm going to be showing you up to right now because uh, this is all I have to say about this truck. Uh, this truck is still on with the gear on and doesn't do anything at all, which um, uh, makes me think then, uh, and this is one of the problems that you never expect to happen on the truck because I never heard about this but it happened but there, are, there, are, there is always a freeze time for everything and uh, if you have probably you know about the problem but I didn't know about this problem and it happened today and at least I have something new to learn everybody's learning something new every day uh, but if you didn't know about this problem yes this is the problem the gear is still on as you can see and nothing is happening uh, it is the transmission is broken the transmission got to be replaced so it is we're talking about four thousand dollars kind of like that's the price to repair it to put this truck and, pro and probably not using a really uh, a rebuild transmission because if you want to use a rebuild transmission that is going to be just the uh, the transmission is going to be around three thousand five five hundred dollars just the transmission without the parts without the labor so uh, with a used transmission probably you're gonna get uh, something around four thousand dollars 
but this is all I have to share with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think about the video. And let me know if you want to see my face in the videos more often. Because I'm planning to do more videos like that. But if you don't want, you don't care about it, just let me know in the description below. Just make sure to comment and I will uh, appreciate it. That will be a good feedback to know if you want to see this um, myself. <laughs> Uh, how I look right I guess uh, I've been not showing my face for a long time but anyway um, uh, so let me know what you think and uh, if you have anything to share about this specific video you can use the comment section as well where I'm going to uh, read it myself and I want to try to answer your questions or you can actually just like send your recommendation your experience about this specific problem that is going on you can do it as well because uh, you will help so many people even I can get some help out of you if you have more experience about it so um, just make sure to do that uh, if you wanna send some support to my channel you can always check the description of the video right there where um, I'm going to have details how to send uh, support to my channel so I can continue doing uh, videos for everybody about trucks business is bad right now we're in january right now this video is being done in january 2020 um i don't know when i'm going to post it but when you see it you want to see it but right now business is kind of like tumbling it's really bad uh, i know many of you uh, don't uh, really um uh think them trucking business is going to be well and having problems like this doesn't help but anyway i want to try to help you as much as i can with videos so that way you can save a lot of money and, and you know keep your business over the road that's what matters to everybody and I'm glad that you guys are appreciating my efforts so uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel like the video and thank you for watching